Yeah, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. Today we're gonna be doing finally, 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 we're gonna be doing and giving you the honest, hold up, the real, the 100% honest truth review on this Rurock Atlas 3.0. Yes, I said true because they are a lot of. Uh, Reviews out there that just, um, I don't know, they're just not coming off as trustworthy to me. Um, and yeah, a lot of you guys have noticed. Um, and you guys know that on this channel, we keep it 100, man. I don't, I don't ever hold anything back. For the most part, I always have positive things to say about the things that I review. But that's because A, number one, I do my research before I bring anything onto my platform. B, because I'm not gonna bring anything onto my platform that's not gonna be up to standard, whether it be in a sponsored product or something that I bought myself with my own money like I did with this right here. I'm always gonna give you the honest truth. There's been times where I've I've been sent uh, things before and I'm like, I tell you guys straight up, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not crazy about it, but you know, this is these are the things that I think about them, you know? So, with that being said, yes, like I said, I did pay for this helmet with my hard-earned cash. Um, a lot, a lot of money that I regret paying for. Um, so, this is how we're going to break up this video. I'm just going to go down a, down a list right now of the things that I found wrong with this helmet. Um, and then I'm going to go into detail step by step on why I feel that way. And then I'm also going to give you some positives about it. Um, but, yeah, just FYI, I'm... Not so happy with this sh shit. All right, so there were eight things that I really did not like about this helmet. Number one being, it's extremely noisy. Number two, doesn't fit well. Number three, it scratches my cheek when I put it on. Number four, it feels cheap. Number five, the chin mount that they provide for my GoPro holder broke. Number six, wrong fitment from what they advertise on the website. Number seven, lousy visibility. There's no peripheral vision at all. And number eight is too goddamn expensive for what it is. Now with all that being said, I gotta be honest, this is and has to be probably one of the coolest looking helmets on the market like it, it just screams badass it screams cool it looks very intimidating it's a it's a really nice designed looking helmet um the few times that i've worn it already i've kind of i most of the time get stopped and i'm getting being asked about my bike but the last few times i got stopped and i was asked about my helmet here which i was like oh uh, okay well uh, you don't care about my bike So it is a really cool looking helmet and that's the reason why I went out and I purchased it because I just, you know, despite of all the the bad reviews that it's gotten it, I, I thought that they would fix all the little corks and little things that was going on with the toy but all, um, but yeah, it's, uh, I'm not happy with it, it, it just, it's horrible. This is the Rurock GoPro uh, adapter that they sell and as you can see here, it cracked already, which sucks. Now, prior to me having this helmet, I was using this built helmet, which cost me 110 bucks. Um, this built helmet that cost me 110 bucks uh, feels better, and it's not as noisy as this $500 helmet. Um, I also have my red Simpson helmet here, uh, which I love. Uh, this, I mean, let's be honest, uh, the Simpson helmet is not the best helmet on the market it is a bit noisy as well um mostly looks but the fitment is way better than the rurock uh it feels nicer inside it feels a bit more plush um so it definitely beats it on those criteria as well and the built is also way better um i also have a bit well lane splitter which was my original mortal vlogging helmet um that one also a bit noisy because of the vent um but it does feel more comfortable than this helmet. Now, when I talk about comfortable and I talk about fitment, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I mean right now. It's a little sweaty. Um, so, on the website, they advertise the sizes and they tell you, hey, you should measure your head so you can know the exact fitment to, to buy. And that's exactly what I did. I had a measuring 
uh, tape at home. I had my wife measure for me, went online, ordered it, and I thought it was gonna fit well, and it doesn't. So here's the issue. Putting it on extremely tight, and I've even scratched my cheek here twice, uh, trying to put it on. Taking it off, awful, awful experience as well. And here's the crazy part. It's really hard to put on and take off, but once it's on, it's extremely big, and it, and it just dances around my head, so show you guys right now. <sighs> my damn ear. Ah. All right, now well, we got it on. It, it just dances on me like it's, it's not snug. And it has to do with the cheek pads not being, not being so, so plush. Like these cheek pads feel really cheap. Um, they have no cushion. And that's the reason why my helmet shakes that way. And it's not supposed to. If you know what a good fitment is supposed to be, it's supposed to be snug. Your helmet is not supposed to dance around your head um, like this, right? Um, yes, it looks amazing on. Looks super cool, but no. So the cheek pads need more cushion. Not, not cushiony enough. Um, the fitment doesn't fit well at all. Now taking it off, it's a big of an issue as well. I just don't understand, they're extremely tight to put on, extremely tight to take off. Now when it comes to visibility, it really sucks. Um, usually you have a helmet that you're able to have a really good uh, peripheral vision from the sides. So when I have this helmet on, instead of me just glancing to the left or to the right to see the um, incoming traffic from behind me, I literally gotta turn my head all the way around like this to make sure that no one's coming from behind me because the peripheral vision on here sucks. Like I, I literally, I, I can't, like I literally gotta look all the way around like this. Cause if I was just to glance over a little bit, I wouldn't be able to see anything, which sucks once again. Um, the GoPro part right here in the front feels and looks extremely, extremely cheap. They couldn't even provide the little uh, bolts and screws. It just comes with this, but you would think that for something so expensive like this, they would provide this. So I had to take off all these little nuts and screws that I had laying around, because I have a whole pack, um, and I took it off my other parts and was able to add this stuff on, but it's a, a shitty fitment. Now another thing that I also noticed was that when I first got it, I saw some swirls here, some scratches, and you would think that I'm getting a brand new expensive helmet and it came like with these little minor like hair scratches here and there um like the normal person wouldn't just know they can't look at you and notice but you have to be literally this close up to notice but it's uh it, it has a few here and then around the, the nose part um it was a bit dirty as well um and i left some of that dust in there as well so i'm not sure maybe when when they were doing their cuts or whatever it is a lot of this white dust was just all over here i wiped some of it off but it came pretty dirty um i'm I, i'm really not happy I, everyone's like oh like my friends were like oh it looks really cool how do you like it i'm like honestly dude like i'm really disappointed i paid all this money for this helmet it's not worth what i paid for if i would have paid maybe $300 for it, I would have been like, ah, whatever, I paid $300 for it, but uh, with all the additions, I, I had to pay for the for the pin lock extra, I had to pay extra for the black um, blacked out visor, which is not really blacked out, it just has a light tint, and so I don't know if they sent me the wrong one or not, and then I also paid for this uh, gold visor one, which is like, has like a hint of blue and goldish, which looks a little bit ridiculous um and then i paid for this gopro mount which broke already so all in total it came out to like 600 and something um and that's that's why i'm so pissed about it because i paid all this money for that i could have got myself a showy i could have got myself like a high-end bell helmet and and it would have been top top of the line like you know but instead i did the the thing i went and I bought myself this thing here now yes it does look really good and sometimes i look at it i'm like but god damn it looks so damn good but do the it, it just doesn't weigh out like the 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 pros and cons just don't weigh it out for me like you'd be like all right well maybe i don't like this about it and that about it but it looks so good so that outweighs the negative 
but no, the negatives outweigh the positive on here. The only positive about this helmet is that it just looks really, really good. Um, it's extremely noisy on the highway as well. I, I've had it and I've used it for two weeks already. Um, got up to high speeds on the highway as well. It just, it's, it's noisy to a point where it just sounds like echoey. And by the time you get off your bike and you, you're out there riding for three or four hours, it just sounds like like you went you like you've been in a wind tunnel and another thing it's just annoying like i don't like it um like i said before like i, I got two little scratches you can't see them now that went away but i don't know why but at first when i started putting it on like it literally scratched my face so if you guys have that situation with it let me know down in the comments down below um now let's get down to the nitty-gritty the most awful thing that I had to go through with this whole process was me ordering this helmet and having to wait almost two months to receive it which is horrible like dude like, I live on the East Coast I live on Jersey so the fact that I just lost two months of me not wearing not having to wear this helmet sucks like that's like that's I, it's a long time of my riding season man um, I'm, I'm not happy about that at all um, so now I, I'm at the point where I'm like do I return it do I not return it? Cause I, I can still return it right now. And I, I don't know, like I, I really love the looks of it. Like I really do, like it's a really cool looking helmet, but I'm not happy with it. So I don't know, man, should, should I return it? Let me know in the comments down below. Would you return it? Would you be upset about the money? Um, I know a ton of the people that have messaged me and told me that, yeah, they've been waiting two and a half months, two months, a month and a half to get their, uh, to get their order in, which is horrible. Um, I don't know man like I'm, I'm really I just I don't know what to do with this thing at all um, as far as like uh, airflow inside airflow is okay uh, it could be way better um, it's not the best airflow um, it is light right it is a light helmet but if it, it feels it just doesn't feel it doesn't feel what it's worth at all um, one thing I do got to say that it does have some nice little corks here and there inside So inside it, it does have a lot of little velcro patches here and there for you to wire up your helmet with your Like if you're you know doing some GoPro stuff or if you're gonna mount on a uh, cardo device like I did right here I set everything up and it already has that velcro throughout the helmet, so which is that's pretty cool as a plus I really like that. I wish more helmet companies would do that um but that's about it. That's like that's all I can say I like about it. Not <sighs> See I'm gonna return it. Now you guys saw me put that helmet on. I'm gonna show you how um easy it is to put this helmet on right here. So that goes on very nice. And you see how snug this is? It doesn't dance around me anywhere. And it feels like the the cheek pads feel plush. Um it's not as echoey, it's, it's not as loud as that. And it's a $110 helmet. Um, I got it on sale, so I'm not sure if that's what they originally go for. But I'll put the Simpson on. I mean, the Simpson's more on the little pricier side, is around 400 to 500. Um, what I don't like about the Simpson is that the airflow. So you always have an airflow because you can't close these vents right here. Um, so it's not the ideal helmet for cold weather environments but for the summertime you get plenty of airflow going in and out there's no um chin curtain right here so you do get a lot of airflow but for motor vlogging it's not the best option that's the reason why i don't motor vlog with this helmet um besides that it's a it's just a really cool looking helmet and i want to keep it looking clean and nice and it'll look super badass um <clears throat> you guys got some positives you guys got a lot of negatives well that was my honest opinion and honest review on this helmet um if you guys are in the market uh just do your research uh i'm even gonna say go look at more videos because a lot of these videos are not telling the people the truth um yeah if you want to hear the truth we always keep it a hundred we always keep it a buck on here so subscribe hit that like button it's gonna notify you anytime i upload any type of new content and I got a lot to think of because I'm gonna go message these people now and see what I could do about it returning it or not. Um, yeah, six hundred dollars, a lot of money. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe. Enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.
fucker, man. It's like I'm dancing. Look at this shit. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. 